Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Gaslands TV. Today I'll be doing this uh, car here. I lost the footage of me actually doing the, uh, the build, but uh, I have everything after the uh, priming. So um, we'll start. Uh, I primed the one in white and one in black. I'll do a separate video for the black truck, but uh, I'm thinking of doing uh, army pattern on the white car. So I have these uh, greens and browns that I got at uh, Walmart. They're uh, pretty cheap. Yeah, you could probably find them on Amazon or your local game store. You could find these um, Vallejo ones. They're a bit more expensive, but um, they're nicer pigments. They're nicer colors. So uh, whatever your budget is, you could choose what kind of paints you want to use for the uh, the army colors. Now, uh, I have one of these markers. I, bu I bought a bunch of markers on Amazon. They're, um, they're paint markers. So um, I did a few... Uh, outlines and then inside the outlines i uh, basically put some some brown on two or three different spots now this is the first time i'm doing um, army pattern or camouflage pattern so uh, if you guys have any tips or ideas let me know in the comments and uh, hopefully uh, other people gonna learn from from this video and from your comments as well on how to do easy army pattern so i did uh, two or three coats of the brown in different areas and now i'm going to be doing the uh, green in a few different areas as well and as i'm painting i'm trying to go um, as much as i can over the lines because you don't you don't want those lines you don't want those separating lines so as you paint just uh, go over the lines and then Go as close as possible to the next color so after a few coats um, it's starting to look pretty good um, you might need a few different browns um, I was running out of browns I didn't I didn't have that many browns so one of them is like mahogany um, so part of the car is gonna kind of look like a mahogany <laughs> brown but uh, came out pretty good like a dark brown now while that's drying, I'm going to do the inside of the car and uh, while these uh, outside and inside are drying, I might take a sip of water, you know, stay hydrated. That, that really doesn't look like water. Can you guess what I'm actually drinking? Is it vodka on ice? Probably not. Now I'm going to use this green here from Vallejo. It's a Vallejo Air Paint. and. Uh, I think it was a pretty cool green. It's not, it's not uh, too similar to the other greens. So I'm gonna finish up the car with this green here. A few coats of that, and you get this uh, army pattern. You could choose how big or small you want to do your uh, your different colors. Now I'm thinking maybe this guy's the wing off of an orange car that was destroyed. So I'm going to put an orange wing here. I, I like the orange mix with the army pattern because it also gives it a hunter feel. You know, sometimes you see some orange in the pattern. So I'm going to put some orange there. And uh, you could use a Sharpie. A silver Sharpie does uh, pretty good work on detailing the inside of a car. I mean, a, a lot of it you won't be able to see anyways. Um, in most uh, Gaslands cars, you can't see the inside, but I mean, it's always fun for you to know, you know what's inside. And sometimes you get those guys that actually do look in your car and uh, they're gonna see a bit of detail. So for the, uh, the window grill here, I'm just gonna put it on black, regular black. You could also use uh, uh, silver or any other metal color. Now for the engine here, I'm going to use brushed metal. It gives it an oily blackish look. Um, that engine didn't come with a car, by the way. That was a 3D printed engine. And um, I'm going to put some brushed metal on that, make it look a bit oily and metallic. And again, with the, uh, with the silver Sharpie, you could do a few little dots on the engine. Give it a little bit of detail. Very quick, super easy. Whatever uh, rivets that you might spot 
the bottom part of the engine actually came with the hot wheel so it's only the top part that, that was 3d printed so if you guys have engines and hot wheels that you don't know how to paint just uh, brushed metal and rp does the trick i'm gonna do the steering wheel here again this is really extra detail you don't have to do it but it's always fun when when the body's drying to work on the inside of the car for the ram here i'm gonna put some brushed metal again gives it that blackish metallic oily look and uh, with a bit of it left over on the brush i'm gonna do some weathering here on this these panels these armor panels that was taken off the orange car that was damaged or destroyed and just go around and pretend you're cleaning off your brush on the edges put a few dots here and there dirty it up a little bit and that looks all right i'm gonna do the same thing on the wing in the back here if there's too much on the on the brush just remove some and clean the edge of, of the clean your brush on the edge of the uh, whatever metal piece you want it to look damaged or weather gonna go to the other side here And I'm going to do some brushed metal in the front here on the bumper and on the wheels. Uh, those rivets, those hubcaps I actually got on uh, at the dollar store. They're basically in the uh, crafting section of uh, the dollar store. I think they're like for buttons or I forgot the name, but I made a video where you see a bunch of stuff that I bought at the dollar store. So if you want to go check that out, some pretty cool stuff. Now here I'm using the pen or marker, paint marker, and I'm going to do the, the headlights. Just doing a white dot here. And uh, with the black, I come back and I just clean all around, try to make it as round as, as possible. They won't show that much, I mean, the ram is of covering them but details are details and it's always fun now for um, for the bumper an easy an easy trick is just again the silver sharpie super quick super easy and uh, if you have kids let them do this you know give them a sharpie and say hey, make the bumpers make the do some details inside the car and stuff i'm sure they'll enjoy that I'll do the back bumper here and finally I'm gonna do the gun with some brushed metal again and detail it with the sharpie I mean, it's hard to find details uh, on like 3d printed objects sometimes they're not as clear as they should be but you can make your own details so that looks pretty good but it's a bit too clean right so let's damage it up a little bit using some silver i'm going to chip off some paint make it look like i'm chipping off paint but i'm actually just putting some silver and um, it's always a good tip to dry brush and silver on uh, like rounded edges of your car gives it a highlight and depending on how the light is going to hit it it's going to give it a metallic look all along the edge here around the window you can put a bit of silver it's going to give it some damage and uh, see here on the edge i'm going to put a bit very little the brush almost has no paint on it just go all along the edge here and it's going to give it a shine, a highlight. It's 
uh, put some silver here along the edge of the wheel rims, fenders. I gotta learn these car parts. When I do these videos, I sound like an idiot. Car wheels, car tires, car wheel hubcaps, tire uh, bump, tire tire cover, tire, I don't know what to call that. Is it a fender? Is, isn't the fender the front part? What's the back part? Are they both called fenders? The front and the back part? I don't know. Maybe I drank too much of that vermouth. Oh, I gave it away. That's what I was drinking before. Vermouth. One of my favorite drinks. And it, uh, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice day out. So in quarantine, it kind of sucks not to be able to go to a pub or a bar. So gotta do the drinking at home. Now here I'm just putting some silver um, at the edge of the doors. And here where where the guy ripped open his uh, his hood basically so that the engine could could stick out. Uh, gonna put some dirt here, some black on the tires and on the gun because uh, the silver is the silver is too clean right you don't want to have just popping silver like that put some brushed metal or some black on it now if you have some dry rust from army painter it's a really good um, resting thing it comes on really bright as you can tell here but it dries up like a nice rust color once it's dried so i like to put that at the uh, wherever metal meets metal or you know, behind the uh, behind the wing there under the turret over here this gives it a little bit of a orange brown rest all around and when you have uh, very little rust left on your brush I mean you could do this with orange also you don't need to buy an effect or whatever you could just use orange paint and uh, a bit of water in the uh, orange paint or like a wet brush and orange paint is gives a good rest color as well um, but when you have a little bit left on your brush you could just pass it uh, on the edges and make some rust here and there just put it all over the gun here put some in the front Well, that looks pretty rusted and weathered up a little bit. Now I'm going to use some blue. Where am I going to put blue? You're probably wondering. And some purple. Why not? Blue and purple on this army army car. Well, it's for the tip of the gun here. Just the tip. And I'm going to put blue first. Here at the end also of pipes. You might want to do that. A bit of blue. And then I'm going to put the metallic purple on top of the blue and try to blend it with the blue. Give it a, uh, what's that called when metal does that? Burnished? Turnished? Uh, I know there's a name for that. I forget what it is. And, uh, that looks uh, pretty good. Take, go around, take a nice look, see what's missing. And uh, yeah, the tail lights. Why not? Let's do some tail lights. So, with a toothpick, I put a bit of red and a uh, little patience. And you can get into these little spots. If you do a little mistake, happy accident, all you gotta do is fix it. So, here uh, there was maybe too much red, so with a bit of green, let's fix it. And uh, just you can pass a wash, a dark tone wash, all over the gun and, and stuff, and it's gonna be like a dirtier look. It's gonna go in the cracks, it's gonna go inside, and it's gonna give some shade. And hey, you actually see the speakers in the back. See, so that's pretty fun. So um, that's it. That's my uh, army pattern car. So um, if you guys are looking for dice or even gas lines, TV gates, um, I got templates. I got. Uh, engines with skulls on them and pipes 
rams guns tires uh, they they come in containers so you can even use the container to carry your cars around or use them as terrain uh, join us on facebook we have a monthly contest where you could even win these things and um, i hope you share the uh, gaslands tv with your friends and your groups and um, comment let me know what you think of my videos it always helps me continue thanks and see you next time